I'm Tammy Harrison and welcome to Mix. So Santa Monica is world renowned for its sandy beaches, its beautiful pier, and of course for its shopping. But once you've finished soaking up the sun, there is a place that you should come and check out where you can kick back and relax and drink some of the best signature cocktails in town. But it may take you a minute to choose what to drink because this place has the biggest selection of spirits in the whole of Southern California. Let's go check out the Chestnut Club. Chestnut Club is, I think, for me, it's, at its heart, it's more of a neighborhood bar. I mean, it's got this beautiful back bar with whiskeys from everywhere and mezcals and really knowledgeable bartenders, but you want to be able to create these great drinks and great food and a nice experience, but it's still your cheers, your neighborhood place that you come in after work and grab something at happy hour and get a pretzel and a beer and a shot that goes with it. And if we've got time, let's talk about what the perfect shot for that beer would be. So on this one, want to do a little more holiday in California, leaning sort of in that tiki sort of family. So on this one, we're doing a couple bar spoons of allspice dram, and that's going to have a lot of this grandma's fruitcake sort of vibe to it. Lots of cinnamon in there. We'll do half an ounce of passion fruit, the syrup we do here, or jot. Constantly ask what orgeat is, but all it is is blanched almonds. You're almost making like an almond milk and then making it a syrup and a little orange flower water. So super floral, but it gives it a great mouthfeel. Lime juice. We squeeze ours from limes. And mezcal. Of course, related to tequila. We're gonna be roasted under the ground until it's gonna have more of that smoky, savory sort of feel. A little bit of crushed ice, and we're gonna do just a real quick whip on this. Mainly to mix, but shake is sexy. And for this one, I like to use the tin. Just the way it conducts the cold, gets a little nice and frosty as you sit there and kind of sip on it slowly. We're gonna garnish this with three monkeys and a cherry. Bam. Cheers. We have a huge spirit selection. It's funny because I tell people all the time, you know, I, I work really hard on getting tasting notes for everything. Don't ask me about price, I gotta look it up. <laughs> there's just too many bottles back there. But there's literally hundreds of whiskeys. Every bottle has one spot, everything's doubled, there's three shelves high. It's hundreds of bottles back there. All right, so Timma and I, are going to make something phenomenal. I have no idea what it is because I love to get surprised. Okay. What are we making? The world's best daiquiri. Love daiquiris. Okay, I'm super excited now. What do we need? We need four things. Tons of sugar. Sugar? Yeah. We need lime, uh -huh. we need rum, and we need ice. All right, well, let's get mixing. Grab the tin. Ha, it's like a magic trick. You've, you've done this before. Like a magic trick. I've never actually made a daiquiri. I have drank Many. Many. Plenty. A couple. Um, what do we need? A little ice? Or, no, just... Start with the sugar. The whole cup. You want to start with big scoop. Big, well, bigger scoop. There's only so big. Look Heaping. at the spoon. I mean, it's only Heaping. so big you can make this. Uh, gra make Heaping gravity work spoon. for you. How's that? That's good. You clearly need a bigger spoon. All right. I'll take that. All right. Lime juice. Lime juice. Fresh squeeze. Did you squeeze the lime? I had nothing to do with squeezing the lime. At least you're honest. But this is in-house. It's in-house. You passed the test. He's in the back. Okay, he's squeezing more lemons. He's, now Sweet, he's on Squeezing more lemons and limes. And you're gonna wanna do three quarter ounces. Okay, to the brim. To the, to the brim. To the brim. Now you're gonna need rum. What, what rum, but is this a special? This is. A Jamaican rum. It's Jamaican pot still navy strength rum. Navy strength. Navy strength. Okay. Do you want to know the story behind that? Absolutely, and yes. And you should try it too. But I'll fill it to the brim. Don't you ever give me a bottle and a shot glass. All right, let's do that like that. There you All go. right. Okay, so uh, tell Navy, me the story. Navy strength is because during the Maritimes, mm -hmm. they would find the proof of... Whew! Yeah, it's hot. That'll put hair on your chest, I can tell you. If you soak gunpowder in this rum, it'll light. If you soak gunpowder in anything underneath this, it won't light. Interesting. Exactly. So All that's right. how they checked that it was maybe strength. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Down that. 
down that. Ooh, my throat's on fire. Fill it to the brim. All right, so this is clearly... It's a serious cocktail. It's... Drink, excuse me, it's not a cocktail. It is definitely serious. Let them There you go. Ice. Okay, how much? To the brim. All right. You see where I'm going, it's, everything is brimming. Yeah, this is like to the max. All right, shake a Yep. See, it's drinking and a workout. Drinking and exercising. My two most favorite things. Hey, you're done. That's it? That's it. My hand's not frozen to the tin. Usually my hand needs a freeze to the tin. Right? Well, no, no. Okay, fine. No. Fine, he's done. the boss. All right. I am. Okay. And now, finishing touch. We're double straining this stuff. Double straining. Why are we double straining? Because uh, I don't want to water down my perfectly made drink. Excuse me, your perfectly made drink. Excuse me, your perfectly made drink. Okay. Our perfectly made drink. Fair enough, all right. Thank you. Good compromise. Mm hmm Perfectly measured. Perfectly executed. The world's best daiquiri. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, we smell my drinks, guys. Mm. It smells delightful. That is awesome. Right? Really awesome. Happy holidays, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me, this is awesome. Right? Can I have some now? We serve great food here, and that's run by Chef Antonia. For happy hour, we're gonna do a lot of pretzels and deviled eggs, and that's kind of nice, light, snacky. On the heartier side, we've got stuff like the short rib sandwich, the meatball bowl, and those it's great to pair with a cocktail that's gonna match with that. I think of us as a bar, we have some great food. We actually just recently started doing a specialty menu, and that menu changes every week. So it's a bear to crank out new cocktails, keep rotating and relearning all these new drinks because every week you're doing it. But it's really nice to have your guys come in and go, oh, so what are the specials today? Dude, this is what we got. So for this one, what I want to do is something that's made for parties. Super simple, but mainly about that prep ahead of time. So that when your party's actually going, super easy to just focus on the people, make the drinks quick, and not spend all day in the bar. So what I did was a hot buttered rum. I put it in the little ice trays because it's just easier for how much is a tablespoon. I pick out three cubes and I'm set, so super easy. Mainly, I like a lot of clove, I like a lot of cinnamon, and instead of brown sugar, I went agave, and I actually infused it with more cinnamon and uh, clove also. Little nutmeg and allspice and pretty much whatever I could find that would feel Christmassy. Secret ingredient also. Did a little vanilla ice cream and extra vanilla extract. I wanted it to be super rich, creamy, big, okay? But once it's done, you throw it in the freezer and you can forget about it. So for the cocktail, all we're gonna do is scoop out your little cubes and it melts fast because all the ingredients don't totally harden. So it's still nice and soft. Three ounces hot water, it's not rocket science, I'm guessing. About there. Then we're just gonna stir. Breaks it down really quick. And what I love is you've got all that butter and you can kind of see all that, that oiliness coming out. It's the holidays, I'm not worried about that. And then you want a nice aged rum with it. Something that's gonna have a lot of vanilla, a lot of molasses. I'm using an eight year here. Gonna do about an ounce and a half. You know, I don't wanna get too drunk on the first one. I wanna be able to enjoy a few of these. Then do a little bit. This is just cause we're getting fancy now. Microplane a little bit on there. Let that be a stirring stick. And there you have it. Hot buttered rum. Easy, delicious holiday. For my guests, if you're my guest at the bar, let's talk. You know, let's have that relationship. Let's talk a little bit. How are you doing? We get a lot of regulars, so it's, you know, haven't seen you in a minute. Where, how you been, man? What are we drinking? What are we talking about? We get a lot of people who want to talk about booze and spirits and where it's made. And, you know, that's my wheelhouse. So we'll talk all day on that. Max, I'm yes. here with Max now. What are we making? Eggnog. Classic winter drink. Amen. Keeps you warm. Yes, it will. Gets you a little toasty. <laughs> We're gonna do that too. And what's not to love about that? 
shall we? Absolutely. So let's start with a baller spoon. Here, you do that. Okay. And Bar spoon. This is a this is an all spice dram. All spice dram. What yeah. is what is that? All the spices in there? Pretty much. Which they're going to use uh, it's rum based, so they're going to okay. use Jamaican all spice berries. Ooh. Lots of clove, lots of cinnamon, all those holiday flavors that you think of. Okay. White stripe bottle. Yes. That is curacao. Curacao. It's an orange liqueur. That's good. Throw that in. All right. Okay. Put this back down here. Same jigger, flip side. More of the good stuff. What's this? Molasses? Uh, no, agave, actually. Agave. Uh, made this at home. This is done over the stove with, get that agave hot. As much cinnamon almost as you can fit in your pot. And then I put in cloves and nutmeg also. Ooh. All right. Oh, that is phenomenal. Copper jigger. Copper jigger, fancy. All right, other side. Other side. Two ounces. So heavy, to, heavy whipping cream. To the brim. Yeah. So this is not really Drop a drink down. for anybody who's on a diet. No. So we'll do that. All right. What else are we grabbing? All right. Plantation pineapple rum. That sounds delicious. It's really great. Might need to taste that. Little for you, little for me. See? Never trust a sober bartender. Truth. True. Right? True that is true. That. That's like never trust a skinny chef. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You just don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Tall jockey. Don't do it. Never heard that one. I like it. <laughs> so that's that nice pineapple flavor, super rich. And a little radical, but we're going to use an egg in this. Hence the name <laughs> Eggnog. <laughs> the Nog. Who knew? Grab that big tin. OK. And put it in that. Let's move this devil's fork yeah. out of the way for a second. Egg yolk, egg white. What are we doing here? Do you want anything fancy from me? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't put shell in it. Don't put shell in yeah. it. Yeah. All right. A little bit of shell never hurt no one. Plop. So what we're going to do is a reverse shake on this, because we want to chill it, but we still want a lot of variation, because you want it to be that nice, frothy okay. nog flavor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And if you do the ice last to chill it, you just kind of kill that out. So I'm going to bring this block ah. just small enough so it fits. That's where this little devil's right. fork comes in handy. Yeah, that's right. Could have pre-warned me on that one, but <laughs> Splash all right. zone, right here. <laughs> Shall we? Oh yes. You want to do? It? Yeah. Right. Well, hand, so um, hand. what are we what are we carving? Making an angel? Crocodile? I like swans. What do we want? Yeah. Still in my cubist you know period, so anywhere in that range would be fine. How small is this supposed to get? You actually do it. That was actually perfect. Though. It was. All right. Okay. Drop that on. Or you look delicious. Okay. Now I'll shake first, and then you shake. Yeah. Work those arms. All right. Out. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Your turn. So Hit is, it on here first because you don't want to get splashed with cream. Just the top? Yeah. There you go. But is yeah, there a reason hard. why you started really slow? Yeah. Uh, my shoulder's out. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Old okay. football injury. Oh, it's yeah. like there's some reason why you do it slow and then you were like really slow. Okay. So I can, right. Well, there's also a thing about cracking the ice too. Nothing's cracking much in here. Like no, that. not yet. How's that? I'll have to do one more on this side. You know, a lot of times you'll judge by the uh, how cold it is. I know. As soon as my hand starts freezing so, onto so it, much. I know it's done. A little bit more. It's Hands cold? Freezing. Done. Okay, cool. <sighs> so now, now the work begins. We're going to dump that cube, and we're going to froth the hell out of this. You, so, you, so, you have like a train. You're like coming out of the station. Right. Is that how you busted your shoulder? <laughs> no, okay. but it hasn't helped. We don't want to know that story then. But you have, towards the end, you don't hear much sound on that? Yes. That's nice and frothy, whippy. I well, didn't hear much to begin with, to be totally honest. But... All right. OK. All right. That already looks phenomenal. Let me guess we're going to garnish it with something. We should, shouldn't we? I think so. A little uh, nutmeg here. Make it pretty. I like that. Perfect. Right? Okay. And we'll do a little bit of the orange. And all we're going to do here is just the oils, just to cross it. So, is there a name? Do you have a special name for this here, actually? For your eggnog? Hmm, we should think of one. I think the Max and Tammy. Pineapple upside down eggnog? Pineapple upside down eggnog. eggnog. Yeah. There's right? an acronym. We'll use it later. Yeah. We'll think of those. See what you think. Those later. Max, you. good job. Cheers. Good job, Tammy. Cheers, everybody. Happy holidays.
All right, you guys, that is a wrap here at the Chestnut Club. Are you ready for some more holiday-inspired cocktails? I know I am. So when celebrating a special occasion, what could be more fun than having your very own customized craft cocktails? And I'm not just talking modernizing old fashions, I'm talking liquid nitrogen, smoke, fire, and so on. So does that sound like fun to you? It sounds like fun to me. Let's go meet some of the eclectic mixologists from N2 Mixology. N2 Mixology is a company I founded about six years ago. Basically, the idea of it is to bring craft cocktails to an event. It's educational, teach folks about spirits, and we try to use really cool ingredients. The sky's the limit when it comes to what you can put in a cocktail and all the different ingredients. It's kind of like being a chef and a waiter at the same time. So you're the chef, you make the cocktail, and then you get to serve it and see how your customer feels. So Nico, for what special occasion are we going to be mixing up something fantastic? How about something for Valentine's Day? What do you like to drink on Valentine's Day? I'm a vodka girl, so okay. something with vodka. How about Cosmo? You must have had a Cosmo. I had, well, especially back in the day when Sex and the City came out, I was one of those trendy people that always went out and drank a Cosmo thinking I was cool. But the difference between then and now is Sex and the City, when it came out, we were still in the dark ages of cocktails. These days, we'll use fresh ingredients and create the new and improved Cosmo. How about that? Sounds phenomenal to me. Let's get started. So first off, we're gonna be mixing this in a tin. Okay. Let's start it off with two ounces of vodka. All right. Grey Goose, a little bit of quality stuff here. Actually, the other side. So this is one ounce, this is two ounces. Sorry. <laughs> Let's start again. Right. All right. Two ounces of vodka. So it's brim. All the way to the brim. Bada boom, bada bing. You've done this before. Never. OK. All right, so after this, we're going to do some citrus, three quarters of an ounce. In-house, fresh squeezed. And now, instead of cranberry juice, mm -hmm. I fresh squeezed this pomegranates and made a little syrup out of it. You freshly squeezed it? This morning. So oh, yeah. <laughs> half an ounce of this. Okay. And now some of that Cointreau right there. Okay. I know you've never done this before, but I have a feeling you know how to shake a shaker. Big cubes. Big cubes. Slap the small shaker on top. Perfect. Okay. And remember, when you shake it, you don't want the baby to fall asleep. You want to wake that baby up. Right. All right? Yes. You don't have children, do you, clearly? <laughs> Perfect. Now we're I'm gonna just take... getting too strong now. You're going to want to pour it in here. OK. Ooh, that is beautiful. That's how you know you shook it just right. So now for a garnish, yes. you have options. I usually like blackberry because it gives it a little contrast. Yeah, color-wise, right? Um, so let's grab a blackberry. And if you're feeling frisky, Fine. I would grab an orchid too. Okay. Moment of truth. All right, moment of truth. You're right. This is a modernized Cosmo. New and improved Oh, this is good. Cheers, and happy Valentine's Day to our... Uh, to you. Ha happy Valentine's Day to me. Happy any day to me if you have one of these. Cheers, everybody. We customize drinks for a large variety of events, from common soirees to, say, the Golden Globes we did last year, and we're going to be doing them again this year. We've done the uh, SAG parties at Sundance, South by Southwest, and we kind of bring this whole experience of fresh, farmed table cocktails with stunning hospitality. So I'm going to make for you a penicillin. I use this a lot for any event that we do with Into Mixology. I use it for winter, it goes well with summer. It has like a ginger spice, it has a kick. It's also made with scotch, which you would think not a lot of people will like, but once you taste it, it'll change your mind. So let's get started. I'm gonna do three quarters of lemon juice. I'm doing three quarters of honey. 
I'm actually using a buttered honey to put a little variation on it, but it's amazing. So now I'm gonna add some ginger. This is all of your spice and everything nice. This is gonna give it that little bit of a kick. So I'm actually using a fresh ginger base. We juice fresh ginger and add equal parts ginger juice to equal parts sugar. I'm gonna use a blended scotch. I'm using famous grouse. It's light and easy, and I'm doing an ounce and a half of this. Get your double fashion glass. You're gonna ice up your drink. Ice your glass. And then you shake. By the way, when you shake anything, you should look uncomfortable. That's the most important part of shaking is you gotta feel it. You gotta look weird. Just gonna strain it into the glass here. Yeah. I'm double straining just for consistency. It kind of makes it a little bit more velvety, but I just think that it gives it like a better texture. All right, so what makes this drink really pop is the Laphroaig. This is just gonna give it that aromatic smoky, deep flavor, but the honey and the ginger like just really come through. And we'll do a little bar spoon. And top it off with some candied ginger. And here you have a penicillin. Today we're gonna be making a really great spring holiday brunch cocktail called the Ramos Gin Fizz. Now originally it was invented in 1888 by a man named Henry Ramos at his bar, the Imperial Saloon in New Orleans. This cocktail consists of quite a few ingredients and what popularized it and actually made it the most popular cocktail of its time, not only because of its exceptionally long shake, which was about 12 minutes between a dozen bartenders, but also the governor of Louisiana himself uh, popularized this cocktail and made it New Orleans staple of the time. So the key to making a good Ramos Gin Fizz is the temperature. So we're gonna add a little bit of nitrogen to chill the glass while we make the cocktail. And the other ingredients are two ounces of gin. So we're using Bombay Dry, which is very juniper forward. It really comes through in a cocktail that has a lot of cream. So we're using about one ounce of heavy cream. Next, we're gonna wanna add an egg white. Now the egg white is the key component to a really good Ramos Gin Fizz because it adds the texture and the froth at the end. The other key component to the texture is orange flower water. A few dashes of this goes a long way. We add some citrus, equal parts to the heavy cream, so another one ounce. And to give it some variety, I like to add some fresh fruits. So I'll put some blackberries in here, raspberry or two, Give it a quick little muddle. And now, the most important ingredient to a Ramos Gin Fizz is sugar. So you wanna add about four heaping bar spoons of sugar. And now, the longest shake of any cocktail. So we shake the Ramos Gin Fizz for a good amount of time for a couple reasons. First off, the sugar without the addition of water helps dissolve and coagulate the ingredients, and it gives the Ramos its famous froth. Now it's said that back at the Imperial Bar in 1888, Henry had 20 bartenders behind the bar, and they just kept passing the shaker along to each other for the about 12 minute shake that it took to make each cocktail. After Prohibition, the governor of Louisiana loved the cocktail so much that he brought with him one of the bartenders to New York to bartend at the New York Hotel in 1935, just so he could enjoy this Ramos Gin Fizz while he was in New York. Right now, the nitrogen that I put in the glass earlier is still bubbling and cooling the glass. You may not be able to get nitrogen, so a good thing you can do is put it in the freezer and let the glass chill for about five to 10 minutes. After we finish the shake, we add the ice. I like to add these big ice blocks because it dilutes slower and gives the ingredients enough time to really coagulate and froth up. 
After we're done, add about an ounce of soda. The way carbonation reacts to the froth of the egg white and the sugar is magical. Strain it into your glass. Add a little more soda on top. I usually like to take a straw, pop a hole in the middle, and then add a touch more soda. Really see that head pop. A little garnish, and that is a Ramos Gin Fizz. There's so much to learn when it comes to spirits. Uh, so many spirits that keep coming out, and it's hard for even me to keep up with, let alone average Joe behind the bar that's getting a cocktail. It's always fun to get to introduce new spirits and new ideas, whether it be a reduction of uh, a juice or flavored ice or a new spirit that just hit the market. Megan, what are we making and for what special occasion is this? We're gonna make a Mexican firing squad. Mexican firing, is that more for like Cinco de Mayo or? Absolutely, so it's gonna have a little bit of a red hue to it. Okay. Which is gonna make it very festive. Kind of for any occasion, but especially for those summery types of drinks. Okay, so what do we need? So we're gonna do two ounces of tequila. So it's a bit of a strong one. Absolutely. And to celebrate, of course, Cinco, who doesn't love tequila. This is an in-house grenadine, three quarters of an ounce. There you go, perfect. And then we're gonna add our citrus. Okay. Same thing, three quarters, up to that same line that you filled before. Yep. Boom, a little bit. There you go. A little bit above it, but. Nicely done, you're a pro. All right, so you pick out your fine glassware. We're gonna use this little guy. All right. And then we're gonna do a whip. You're just gonna shake it dry. All right. So you're just gonna so mix those together. Over white dresses. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is a little bit of a silent shake. You're just gonna infuse those, give it some bubbles, aerate it a little bit. Good. Good. There you go. I feel so strong. <laughs> okay. Pour it in. So I'll basically, this is just gonna go on crushed ice, and then we're gonna add a touch of soda water to the brim. Nope. No? A little under. Oh, perfect. Yep. Little. Right there. Nope. Okay. How's that? <laughs> Amazing. All right. There you go. <laughs> I love it. And then we're going to top her off with ice. Okay. It doesn't obviously matter if we spill a little bit. No, not at all. How's that little cap on there? Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's garnish. Okay. So pick a straw. Any color. Your favorite color. Oh. Red. I'm going to make something that looks a little bit like that. Perfect. And this has a very simple garnish. We're just going to do a lime wheel. That is amazing. Perfect. Now I need to drink it. Drink it. Okay. Uh, no? Wait. I have a little bit of a. A surprise? This is liquid nitrogen. Okay. All right. This is like a magic show in here. So this is a little bit of grenadine and a little bit of cream. Just gonna toss on top. Fruity, fresh, smoky. It's light and nice. And actually, really cold. Mexican firing squad. Cheers, everybody. So everyone, that is a wrap on this festive episode of Mix. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Until next time, cheerio, I'm Tammy Harrison.